a message from the Lord God to my peoples of Israel. The second message regarding Gilad Shalit and the temple of the Lord God in Jerusalem. Israeli Defense Forces soldier Gilad Shalit was missing for 1,941 days before Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was able to secure his release from Hamas, the Palestinian terrorist organization that governs the Gaza Strip within Israel. Hamas had illegally abducted Gilad Shalit from inside Israel on the 25th of June 2006. Hamas held him for over five years before Prime Minister Netanyahu obtained his release as part of a prisoner exchange deal on the 18th of October 2011. Revelation So has the home for the Lord God of Israel and America been missing for exactly the same number of periods at the time of Gilad Shalit's return to his home and peoples of the Lord God of Israel? However, instead of 1,941 days, it had been 1,941 years since the Lord God of Israel had his home amongst his covenantal people of Israel. The Lord God orchestrated the Gilad Shalit release to occur exactly at the 1,941 day mark, so that in the future, when he gave the command to rebuild his holy temple, the nation of Israel would know that their God had caused it to happen. And to make apparent the point that now is the time that Israel bring back the Lord God to his home by restoring his house and sanctuary and to do so regardless of what any of the other nations think, say, threaten, or do. But states the Lord God, Israel will be shocked at the support that it will receive globally from people, families, churches, synagogues, businesses, corporations, cities, states, provinces, and nations in their support for Israel to rebuild my temple, the temple of their Lord God. Despite the anger and threats from many nations to coerce Israel not to rebuild the temple, the support will overwhelm and overpower the anger. The Lord God promises that he will indeed protect Israel from any and all of these nations while it builds the temple. The Lord God will provide the funds, the finances, the construction and building materials, the precious metals and gems, as well as the missing implements, tools and elements that are needed to plan, prepare, construct, sanctify, dedicate and open the temple for worship. Therefore, says the Lord God of Israel, my people, my peoples, my nation of Israel, I command you to rebuild my temple in Jerusalem on the original sites of the Temple Mount. Such have I, the Lord God of Israel, given originally on the 12th of November 2012. The Lord God of Israel will indeed give proof to Israel supernaturally that it is He who is giving the command to rebuild His holy temple and sanctuary in Jerusalem on the Temple Mount, which He so graciously empowered and enabled Israel to recapture in the Six-Day War on the 7th of June, 1967. The planning stage to rebuild the temple is to commence on a day and time to be specified by the Lord God, soon to be forthcoming, and will consist of a series of meetings and discussions to outline and detail the planning, pre-preparation, and detailed construction preparations. At the conclusion of this series of meetings, the temple construction plan will be laid out, finalized, and scheduled. The Lord God has commanded, through divine edict, that the temple is to break ground and begin its construction at a date to be specified in the year of 2014. The temple is to be completed, sanctified, dedicated, and open for worship on a series of dates to be specified and finalized at the conclusion of the initial planning and preparation meetings in the year of 2015.
The temple will be known as the third temple of the Lord God and its specific personalized name will be revealed prior to its groundbreaking and construction. The temple will receive a name just as its predecessors have been specifically named. Moses' tabernacle, the first tabernacle, also known as the tabernacle in the wilderness. Solomon's temple, the first temple. Zerubbabel's temple, the second temple, also known as Herod's temple. It was renamed Herod's Temple due to the fact that King Herod funded the expansion of the Temple Mount and the complete reconstruction of that temple. However, of this man, his name, and the name given to the temple, such is one that the Lord God so very much dislikes. More information to come in the near future regarding this momentous and historical occasion regarding the rebuilding of the Temple Countless peoples of the Lord God, both currently and historically, both Jewish and Christian, both today and throughout the last 2,000 years, have indeed cried out to the Lord for the rebuilding of the temple of the Lord God in order that He may dwell once again amongst His peoples of Israel and beyond as prophesied and written in His Holy Scriptures. End of message. Thus says the Lord Yahweh God Jehovah, Signed on Sunday, the 16th day of October 2011 at 3.11 a.m. American Eastern Daylight Time. Sealed by the High Servant of the Most High God of all hosts, the High Prophet of the Lord, Yahweh God Jehovah, Tampa Bay, Florida, the United States of America. Completed on the Day of Atonement this Tuesday, the 25th of September 2012 delivered the day of revealing this message originally this Monday the 12th of November 2012 anew the second day of revealing this message during the Feast of Tabernacles the Festival of Sukkot this Wednesday the 25th of September 2013 this message contains the seal of the Lord God indicating its finalization Completion of message.